center I'm now standing Not a trace of hope in sight And if tears are only raindrops The universe would be floating now So Lord, I call on you today Please don't pass me by. Hold my hand today. Lest I fall. Guide my steps all the way. Please hear my call for the cares. Oh, life is all I now see. Please walk me today. Yeah. That's all I ask of you. Storm of fear now surrounds me. A failing heart is all I see. Broken dreams, painful memories, quest to help abides with me. Still I know, still I know you're standing near me. Cause I so need your head in mine. So Lord, I call on you today. Please hear my cry Hold my hand today Lest I fall Guide my steps all the way Please hear my call For the cares of life Walk me today. Yeah. That's all I ask of you. Hold my hand. That's all I ask of you. This mighty right. man of God. I want to put our hands together. Amen. Before we come, we have two persons, I believe two young people who came and wanted to be baptized. So tonight, we're going to do that because, amen, once they come asking for that, yes. we want to fulfill their wishes. Amen? That's right, that's right, that's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so if you're here tonight and you're not yet baptized, you have given your heart to the Lord, this might be your night. Amen, somebody. Amen. So we are believing God. The, the pool is ready. Amen. We are putting on, amen, our preacher, amen, before 8.30. Amen, somebody, so we can be done on time. So let's put our hands together. We make welcome God's anointed servant. Amen. amen. Dr. Chambers, as he comes to minister. Come on, King Chapel. Let's make him welcome. Hallelujah. Somebody love the Lord. Is there anybody that hate the Lord down there? Everybody have anything against the Lord tonight? How many of you love the Lord tonight? Amen. I want you to look around to the closest neighbor. Say hello, neighbor. You are the reason why we are here tonight. Say, neighbor, God planned it so that you'll be here tonight. Somebody say hallelujah. You may be seated. Amen. I know you've been going on for this is your third week. I opened the revival. Amen. Two Sundays ago. Amen. And you're you're here tonight. That's awesome. Amen. Twelve night, thirty night, ten night, nine night. <laughs> nine night. <laughs> Amen. It, it's, it's good to be in the presence of the Lord. And some people post some picture on Facebook. So I've been watching 
Amen. Looking at baptism. Amen. Glory to God. Picture um, that I see. And thank the Lord for what the Lord is doing. Amen. We give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. I want to greet Bishop Amen. Michael Mitchell, very dear brother, dear friend. Amen. I thank God for him and for his wife. I don't see her here. Amen. But the Lord knows where she is. Amen. I greet her tonight also and all the executives on the farm. Amen. Musicians and all your wonderful saints who are here. I greet you in the exalted name of Jesus. Now, I love the Lord. Amen. Because if, if a man who is serving the Lord for 39 years, no, 1974, yeah, 39 years, must be in love with Jesus. And I have no intention to backslide. Amen, somebody. Because the song man said, the longer I serve him, is the sweeter he grows. Amen. Although we are growing out of here, amen, praise him of the Lord. Amen. We thank the Lord that, uh, amen, we are alive and well. <laughs> Amen. We're coming ball these days. Nobody cannot see the grace so easy these days. So we, we go low in Jesus' name. <laughs> the Lord is good. Amen, Church of God. Amen. Of course, it was mentioned. I'm from Rescue the Persian Deliverance Ministries. And some of my brethren stood. Amen. We have here tonight Deaconess Elect Hutchison, Lorraine Hutchison. Amen. The wife of my armor bearer, Deacon Hutchison. Amen. We have Sister. Joyce, amen, the mother of Sister Deacon Elect Hutchison, and we have Sister Jennifer, amen, praise God, and she's going to come and sing a song and bless us tonight, so please put your hands together and make Sister Jennifer welcome, all the way from Brooklyn, New York, receive her, those on YouTube, Facebook, you stream, receive Sister Jennifer as she come and sing, come up in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Good night to everyone. Praise the Lord. How many of us know that the, the Dr. Jesus is in the house tonight? Give it up for him. Hallelujah. How many of us know that the healer is in the house tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. You are sick for many years now. And it seems as if you have no hope. You spend all you have to get better. There's a doctor named Jesus. He can heal you right now. All you got to do is just call, call his name. Oh, Dr. Jesus, he can heal you tonight Dr. Jesus he can heal heal you tonight just call on his name he sees your suffering and your pain oh to Jesus, He can heal, heal you tonight. You remember that woman? The Bible. She was sick for twelve long years. She heard. Oh, she pressed through the crowd. And touch the hem of his garment. And same time, she was healed from a sickness. How many of us here tonight believe that? Oh, Dr. Jesus, he can heal you.
tonight. Doctor Jesus, he can heal, heal you tonight. Just call on his name. He sees your suffering and your pain. Oh, Doctor Jesus, he can heal. Heal you tonight. Oh, you remember that woman in the Bible? She was sick for 12 long years. She heard that Jesus was passing by her way. She pressed. To the crowd, and she touched the hem of his garment. And same time, she was healed from a sickness. Oh, Doctor Jesus, He can heal you right now. Doctor Jesus. He can heal you right now. Oh, just call on his name. He sees your suffering and your pain. Doctor Jesus, if you're sick tonight, he can heal you. Doctor Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus. Doctor Jesus, he can heal you tonight. Come on, somebody stand your feet. Give God some praise. Come on, praise him for Doctor Jesus. Come on, praise Doctor Jesus tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open your mouth. Let's give him some praise here. Hallelujah. Come on, praise us. Come on, praise us. Come on, worship us. Hallelujah. Tell you, we're coming out of fire tonight. Amen. Our church was on fire today. Amen. The glory of God fell in the house. There could be no preaching somebody's amen. And I believe that same glory will fall in this house tonight. Can somebody give God a bushy candy to be under the world? Come on and worship him here, church of God. Hallelujah. There's about 10 persons here tonight. About 10. That you need God to make a way for you. And, and these 10 persons, your, your need is greater than a need. And God sent me here tonight to minister to about 10 persons. But the rest will get the overflow. Somebody give God Rico. She can be under the rubber. Hallelujah. Come on. Shout under this tent. Shout under this tent. The glory has been falling. Days, nights. Hallelujah. And tonight is no exceptional. We believe that the presence of the Lord will hit somebody tonight. And your life will never be the same after tonight. So nobody cut it. Nobody trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Nobody cut it. Nobody trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Nobody cut it. Nobody trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Good for Paul and Silas. And good enough for. Hey, nobody cut it. Nobody trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Now bad I cut it, bad I cut it, bad I trim it, bad. This is a Pentecostal. Hey, hey. No bad I cut it. No bad I trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Good for Paul and Silas. And good enough for. Hey, no bad I cut it. No bad I trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. No bad I cut it, bad I cut it, bad I trim it, bad. This is a Pentecostal. All right, no bother cut it, no bother trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Good for Paul and Silas. Good enough. Oh, no 
bad I cut it, no bad I trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. No bad I cut it, no bad I trim it. This is a Pentecostal. Come on, Church of God. Come up, Church of God. Hey. Good for Paul. Hey, no bad I cut it, no bad I trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. No bad I cut it. No bad I trim it. This is a Pentecostal. Fire. Good God Almighty. Ay, 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 ay. This is a Pentecostal fire. This is a Pentecostal fire. Hey, no bad I cut it. No bad I trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Come on, no King Chopper. Whoa, no bother cut it. No bother trim it. This is a Pentecostal fire. Good for Paul and Silas. Move, sit and move. Make me pass. Move, sit and move. Make me pass. I am born again. Save and sanctify. Move, sit and move. Come on, Zion, come on, Zion. Move, sit and move. Make me pass. Move, sit and move. Somebody push him out of church tonight. I am born again. Save and sanctify. Move, sit and move. One more time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, sit and move. Make me pass. Oh boy, come on, church, come on, people. Move, sit and move. Make me pass. I am born again. I am born again. Save and sanctify. Move, sit and move. Make me pass. I hear this one, I hear this one. Here go. Don't you trouble. Zion, don't you trouble Zion? Hi, hi, hi. Zion has a key to open sinner's heart. Don't you trouble Zion? Let me hear Zionite say, Don't you trouble Zion? Hi, hi, hi. Don't you trouble Zion. Uh -huh. Zion has a key. Burning 
I, I, I need tomorrow in my lamp. I pray. I need tomorrow in my lamp. Somebody sing it tonight. Keep me burning till I pray. Uh, somebody says sing, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Come on, church. Sing Hosanna. Come on, get excited and give God some praise. Come on, get excited. Get excited. Give God some prakushi Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, 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 God. Hallelujah. Somebody holler hallelujah. I just find the neighbor. I say, neighbor, I've come to worship. This man said, I've come to worship. I've come to praise the Lord. Look what the Lord has been doing over these past two weeks. You have a right to give God praise. Those have been saved and baptized and Holy Ghost feel healed and delivered and set free. You have a right to praise God tonight. Is there anybody have a right to praise God? You have a right to give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praku. Hallelujah. Wave your sanctified hand. Give the Lord a wave off him. Wave to him. Wave to him. Hi, say hi, Jesus. Say hi. How are you tonight? How are you tonight, Jesus? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. I don't know why you praise him. But I know why I praise him. Because when I looked down the road. And I saw where he brought me from. I have a right to praise him. You think I'm going to join Lucifer and rob God of his praise? You know how much robbers come church? Say, hell, say hello, neighbor. Are you a robber? You rob God of worship. Rob God of praise. Rob God of thanksgiving. When you should be praising God, you have pick finger nail. You have bite finger nail. Can I talk to somebody tonight? How, when you should be praising God, you look on your cell phone. You rob by your. Stop rob God and give God worship. Hallelujah. I don't want to sit beside. No robber in church. I don't, you can't find a key for that. I don't want to sit beside no robber in church. It, it just a release. So make sure you catch going. It just a release. Hallelujah, somebody. Right, you can't find a key. I'm going to play. Amen. You may be seated in Jesus' name. You all know me by now. Amen. Amen. God is good. God is great. And I just have a feeling that something good is about to happen to somebody tonight. You see, at the rescue of depression, we believe in praying and fasting. We believe in praying and fasting. Amen. And we are expecting great things from the Lord. A sister preached here today. You know her sister, Yvonne McCoy. She's now Gersham. And she said, like, your, your work is like is something good is going on. Mr. Sister, like, Mr. The work, stagnant. Because some people say, why? That's they're going, going awesome. But because we know what God can do. I may not see that yet. Anytime you feel comfortable, you know. Anytime people come and say, I mean, just two years, and you, you are so much, Mr. Sister, the work, stop growing. Somebody say amen. Because I'm expecting greater things from God. Somebody say hallelujah. You see, when you're expecting, you see, people who are not on your level will believe you're at a height. But somebody who are higher than you 
and know what's supposed to happen. When they are glorying in that, you say, ah, where my glory now? Suppose him see this. What would he do if he ever get here? And there are other people who are down here, say, why are you doing good? But then when you're looking up there, say, why are you not doing good at all, you know? Because it depends on who you're measuring yourself with. Can I repeat that? It depends on who you are measuring yourself with. Somebody say amen. You see, it, 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 let me tell you something. I'm going to start preaching, but this is probably good for some of us. You cannot solve a problem on the same level. You can never solve a problem with you and the person on the same level. You have to be at a higher level to solve a problem with somebody. Because if I'm here and the problem is here, I can't solve it. I got to be above it to deal with it. So there are some folks who are comparing themselves with other people and say, I've seen a better half than me. Because you're measuring yourself with him. We must measure yourself with somebody. So I want to be like that person really doing it, man. I want to reach up there. I tell people, I'm not supposed to come down to you. You must come up to me. Amen. Let me clarify that. I'm not talking about in position. I'm talking about spirituality. Let me break. Let me break. Let me break. Let me talk. 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 We are friends. Hear me this. If I answer you based on your talk to me, we're on the same level. If I answer you based on what you say to me, we are on the same level and probably worse. Somebody say, break it down. All right. Somebody come and say, can't take you. Say, me can't take you either. <laughs> Same level. No, somebody come and say, I can't take you. Say, oh, praise the Lord Jesus. God is good. It means you're on a higher level. But when you find people responding to what they are hearing the same way, they are both on the same level. So next time, no, say who you are. No, no, you're not on the same level. But when you say, glory to God, that's all you see. You say, God, thank you. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. They must say, I want to go up to your level. Somebody say, amen. amen. Remember this. Next time, if you want to prove what level you're at, it depends on your answer to the person. Let me share something else with you. Share something else with you. You can know who is the most spiritual person in your life or who is the most strongest person rather in your life. You as a person. It was the flesh or the spirit. Based on your response, tell you who get the more food. Mm -hmm. Break it down. All right. Some of us watch soap operas. Mm -hmm. And you find that when they're talking to somebody, you think that's a real story, you know. Some of them say, I can't take her. Where should I come out of the show? <laughs> and you find out they'll bring the, that in their personal lives. Now, so when something happens, you say, yes, man. Mm -hmm. I just like the person missing out of the show. Because you fed the flesh man. Now, when the spiritual man is in operation, he's in the word. And so when something look like it's even so, you don't, you don't just accept it. You say, boy, let's pray about this. Because now you do, the spiritual man wants to prove all things. But when you respond negatively because of negative stuff, you're feeding the flesh man more than the spiritual man. Amen, church of God? So your sister know how spiritual you are. As a matter of fact, they know who get the most food in your life. Because based on your response to them, tell them what you're eating more. If it's the word or flesh. I'm not talking chicken back now or dumpling or dukuno. I'm talking lust. If you eat lust, if you eat lying, if you eat in resentment, if you eat in backbiting. Why don't know I'm saying this, but remember this. You are what you eat. <laughs> 